Good afternoon from Zagreb, Croatia. So this beautiful church behind me, built in the 13th century, is called St. Mark's Church. And it's got beautiful tiling with symbols of the uh, Croatian flag and the Zagreb flag. So Zagreb is the capital of Croatia and it's known for its uh, 18th and 19th century distinct architecture. And as, as you can see, uh, buildings all around and you'll see as we're exploring the city it's got its own really unique characteristics when it comes to the architecture and just the overall colorfulness of the city itself so let's let's keep walking and uh, explore all of the capital of Croatia that little passageway that I just went by is the Virgin Mary Shrine which is why you saw all the candles and like all the uh, different prayers on the walls and names and uh, yeah so it's a in this area it's a really it's a quite popular uh, place to go and pray So the area I'm in now is actually at the top of the hill, uh, top of the uh, section, which is uh, one of the most popular, uh, I guess like a downtown area, you can call it, uh, of Zagreb. And so, as you can see, there's a lot of restaurants, cafes, bars. There's also a lot of <laughs> kind of uh, these like touristy type, uh, you know, like people in costumes and like these little uh, tourist attractions everywhere. and. Uh, <laughs> Definitely really interesting, really different atmosphere and vibe here, that's for sure. So I just found some sort of tunnel. Check this out. I have no idea what this is. This is pretty cool, actually. Uh, I'm just walking wherever it takes me. Hopefully not back around. <laughs> Well, he takes me somewhere cool. And I haven't got lost. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. Woo! <laughs> so, so, the name of this tunnel is the Tunnel of Reach, as you just saw. And, uh, not exactly sure where I'm going right now, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> found uh, another portion of the tunnel that's actually a lot bigger. 
so there's there's actually like signs that I did not notice before because I was so intrigued by the tunnel. Uh, I'm just gonna walk to the other end of it and then come out wherever it takes me. I don't even know. But that's the that's the real way to explore. <laughs> All right. Finally got to uh, outside. <laughs> So it turns out Grich Tunnel was actually built during the time of the Second World War and served as a uh, World War II bomb shelter, which is uh, really interesting. I, I never knew you know, Croatia had so much history you know, with regards to that. So uh, find out something new every day when you travel and explore. This was definitely, <laughs> I did not know that this was here and uh, this is actually pretty cool. So let's keep exploring and see what else, what other cool things we can find. So we ended up walking from one area through the tunnel and now we're in an area called Lower Town where we're just about to get there. So let's head in that direction and see what's in store over there. Check out what I found, a funicular. And I think, I, I think I'm gonna go for a ride. Let's just see if it's open. Okay, uh, turns out it's not running. Um, maybe next time, <laughs> but yeah. There is a funicular, one very similar to the one in Prague here in Zagreb, Croatia, which is pretty awesome. All right, so now I'm on a street called Ilica, and uh, as you can see all these shops all around me. This is like the shopping uh, center, I guess you would call it. Um, except it's a lot of places are closed right now. It is Sunday, so, and yeah. Church, and we are in Europe. So a lot of places are usually closed on Sundays. Um, I guess it varies what city you're in, what country you're in, but like in Prague, yeah, there are like some areas that are uh, closed. Uh, yeah. In the U.S., not as much, but like if I were to compare it to Prague, yeah, there's there's definitely areas where it's like more touristy and there's more stuff open. And I'm sure there is here as well, but uh, yeah. Here, it's kind of like those areas where Sundays, sometimes even the whole weekend, a lot of these places like restaurants and uh, all these stores, they're usually closed. So uh, I'm just gonna keep walking and find something else interesting. One really cool thing that I like, being that I don't know any Croatian, is that all the street signs and everything, there's also an English version of it. So it makes it a lot easier when you're exploring and trying to find something in a new city. All right, so now I'm in a section here. It's just like, it's like shopping plazas and a church. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, it's uh, right now it's Sunday and there's not that many people compared to when I was here yesterday. But there's still some stores open and uh, you know, if you want to get your shopping done on a weekend and most of the stores are closed, this is where you come. And there's like a huge shopping plaza right here. A uh, bunch of little restaurants all around. 
and definitely <laughs> doesn't lack things to do, that's for sure. There's all these uh, little street vendors here and one really popular, I uh, guess, like street food snack here is corn on the cob. They actually, what you just saw, they, serve, they sell them here boiled and grilled. So I got myself one of those and uh, I'm gonna snack a little bit while I explore the city. Now we're walking to the main um, like square area, you want to call it. And it's a lot of really cool historical things to see around there. And lots of great restaurants and cafes. And I think it's, it's, just, it's just about time to get some dinner. So I'm thinking since I, I had Croatian yesterday um, and I'm kind of in the mood for pasta and being that Italy is like so close I think we're gonna try some pasta and just see what it's like I haven't had pasta in a long time <laughs> Time for my little two cents of what I noticed here in Croatia compared to other countries that I've been in. The re recent one is Czech Republic. So you walk around in the morning or like almost close to the afternoon in Czech Republic, everyone's out drinking a beer and having lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it. Here in Croatia and Zagreb, Everyone is <laughs> got an espresso and smoking a cigarette, which uh, seems very Italian, I guess, <laughs> with all these cafes. Like, I didn't really find any like brunch places, which is kind of interesting. So, and there's also a lot of uh, Italian restaurants here, and a lot of restaurants that are in Italian have Italian food on the menu so I'm guessing it has to do with the fact that Italy is kind of close so yeah but yeah check this out absolutely beautiful So that square that I was at right now is the central square of Josip Balaktik. And it's one of the biggest uh, squares here in Zagreb. So as you can see, beautiful architecture and uh, yeah, that trolley right behind here. And now back to finding somewhere to get some food. <laughs> it is hard to find a outdoor cafe that serves food. It seems like most of these here, people go to drink espresso and smoke a cigarette. <laughs> but I don't want either. I want food hungry. And I know there's good Italian food or there's good Croatian food. and. I'm determined to find some good food. <laughs> so this right behind me is the Cathedral of Zagreb. It's under construction right now, but it still looks really beautiful. Check it out.
down the little street here. Looks promising. There's even a place that sells salty and sweet pancakes. <laughs> Don't believe me? Check it out. It's closed now, but anyway, not looking for something salty and sweet. I'm looking for something tasty and rich. <laughs> something filling, something for dinner. <laughs> All right, I got to the end of this street and every single restaurant except for ones just selling ice cream is closed. Um, a little word of advice if you're gonna be in Croatia, in Zagreb, I don't know how the rest of Croatia is, but um, weekends, well, I don't know about Saturday, Everything seemed pretty open yesterday, but if you're gonna be here on a Sunday, um, yeah, you could probably get better luck ordering something or <laughs> finding something ahead of time that's open on Sunday, because as you can see, umbrellas folded, chairs stacked, everything is closed. Even, well, most of the shopping things as well. But don't worry, we'll find something. We always do. All right. I got, I got uh, more hopes in this street that there's gonna be something open for dinner. <laughs> See some restaurants that are closed and some that are open. Finally found a place that's open. It's a pizzeria and grill. So I think that'll do, that'll be perfect. It feels nice to sit down after walking all that. I am super hungry. So while I am having Italian and not Croatian, since I had Croatian food yesterday, I decided to have at least something Croatian. So I'm having some Ozusko beer. Let's give this a try and see what Croatian beer is like. Mmm. I like it. It's pretty good. Thumbs up. Food is finally here. Got myself some spaghetti carbonara, so let's give it a taste test. Mm. Mm. That is really good. That is tasty. Had to get some pizza too, and it looks absolutely delicious. Of all the Italian food I've had in Europe that's not in Italy, this is by far the best here in Croatia. All right, that was nice and filling. Ready to walk around a little bit more. <laughs> On that nice little park here. I'm gonna go for a little walk and <laughs> burn off all those calories from that pasta. It's a really filling uh, dinner. I had way too much to eat. <laughs> So while I'm not in like the touristy section of Zagreb, behind me is a gorgeous building, which is the Art Museum of Zagreb. And it's absolutely beautiful. And especially with the sunset on it, yeah, magnificent. got this beautiful like lawn check it out So that wraps up 
exploring Zagreb. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, as always, like and share the video, subscribe. I'll be making more videos and I'm actually, tomorrow, I'm going to be headed to another city in Croatia. So if you wanna know where that is and you wanna see that vlog, subscribe and hit the notification button. Until then, I will see you later. Peace. Also, if you have any city or food recommendations or anywhere, anything I need to check out while I'm here in Croatia, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to check it out. Mm hmm?